Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to do something a little bit different and we are going to talk about periods. I have been wanting to try for a long time moon cup which is something that you use instead of using tampons and I've been wanting to do it as a way of reducing my carbon footprint. I could be a bit more eco-friendly and also a little bit healthier. I thought I would take you through a week of me using the moon cup and doing a little bit of a review on it. The only brand that I've heard of is the moon cup but we're about to go to Revital which is my local health food shop which I love and I'm going to see what they have there. I'm going to buy it and I'm going to wear it and I'm going to review it. So let's go. <laughs> Yay! Here we are in the period aisle. Ah, this might be it. What's that? Right. Okay, I'm back home. And here's what I got. The Organi Cup. It says here it is the Organi Menstrual Cup. A reusable menstrual cup that replaces pads and tampons. It provides 12 hours of leak-free super freedom and can be worn for up to 12 hours. It's made of 100% soft medical grade silicone that doesn't mess with your body. Does silicone not mess with your body? I suppose you're having it implanted into, I don't know. Save money and spare our planet. Now that was the thing that I wanted to do. Save the planet. One tampon at a time. No constant waste and no monthly purchases. Oh, should we just open up and have a look? That's the instructions. Right. Should we just Google it? Here it is, whoa. <laughs> so you're meant to plop it up, right, okay. They had two sizes, they had size A for people who had not given birth, and they had size B for people who had given birth. I have given birth to a really, really large baby. I went with size B, and size B looks, um, well, it looks generous. So I found the website. It says, welcome to the new period. Ah, oh, there's a how to use guide. Every beginning can be difficult and it may take you a few periods to get the hang of your menstrual cup. Before use, I have to sterilize this cup. So we're gonna go do that later. The thing I'm most keen on knowing is how to get this up. Step one, insertion. Use lubricant if you are in any way nervous about the insertion process. Experiment and find your favorite. For a punch down fold, push the rim down to the base and pinch the cup together. For a C fold, fold organic cup in half lengthwise. For a C fold, fold organic close. one top down to the opposite corner. It says it holds up to three tampons worth, so you only actually have to change it twice a day. Now, I don't know, I'm pretty sure I bleed quite a lot, but I've looked it up. Apparently, the most common amount that people will bleed is anywhere between two and four tablespoons per period. My periods are pretty heavy and pretty abundant on the first couple of days. I was also a bit worried about hygiene for these things, so I also bought the Organi Wipes for when I go to public restrooms. And again, this is something that is concerning me a little bit. In most restrooms have to leave the cubicles in order to make it to the sink. Very luckily at my place of work, we have sinks next to the toilets. Let's just hope that my period comes when I'm at work first, shall we? Before I even contemplate shoving it up there, I'm just going to really make sure that I know how I'm going to be getting it out again. Removal. Use warm water and a mild perfume-free wash, such as Organa Wash, for sanitizing your that. hands under clean running water. I do have a client who has got a moon menstrual cup and she puts it in her dishwasher. Her mum has told her she's not allowed to do that anymore. Being relaxed is essential. Again, the emphasis is completely on relaxation. Ah, and then what you do is you're supposed to squeeze the base and then pull it out because squeezing the base will reduce the vacuum sensation. That's it. All right then, guess all I'm going to have to do now is wait to day one of my period and I am going to take you through a day by day account of me trying out the Organi Cup, which I've only just found out was called the Organi Cup. I actually thought it was called the Origami Cup. <laughs> Good morning. 
It is the next day and it is half past six in the morning. I don't know why that's relevant. My period's arrived and I am therefore boiling my moon cup. Rem's just been staring at it and he didn't even ask what it was. He sort of just sulked off back upstairs. The key thing here is to let it cool down. I'm ready for work. So I am gonna go and try the moon cup, no. The organi cup and I thought to myself I'll do my first trial product and it's one that is um intimate so I don't know how I'm gonna do this Come on. here you are I'm gonna leave you guys that way right okay I, I have to say I feel like a girl putting her first tampon in remember those days girls hold insert right okay oh what? Oh, I don't know. Hang on. Oh! Oh! Wait, I'm trying to rotate. He's supposed to rotate. I can safely say that no vacuum is being created right now. Is that a problem? Oh! Right, I'm in. Huh. Feels like it sat down quite low. It wasn't also that easy to put in. It took me three attempts. I remember the first time I ever had to go using a tampon like that. It took me like three or four cycles to be able to work that stuff out. A bit apprehensive over the fact that I've got four different groups of women that I'm coaching this morning. A lot of running around. Hmm. So I have just arrived at the gym and I've already entered my first problem. The little nubby thing, the stem that you pull it out is like down and I can feel it so I'm gonna have to do my first public bathroom reinsertion I think that was the problem it wasn't in high enough taking it out was not as hard as I thought it was going to be but it was a bit of a it feels more comfortable than when I first put it in this morning I've just finished work and I would say my cup has been in now for about six hours. I have taken it in and out a couple of times until I got to my last client. And she's like, don't keep taking it out. You have to wait for suction to pull it up in more. So I was like, okay, so I've left it. And actually, it, um, I'm not comfortable. So far, we've had no leakages or anything. I haven't actually known how to demonstrate me going about my business trying this. <laughs> So it's just a lot of you taking my word for it. But at the moment, all I can feel is the little nubby thing flapping. It's not fun. I've just pulled over to fill my car with petrol and the attendant was called Thrushy. It's half past four. 10 o'clock was the last time I changed it. So far, no leakages or anything. And I've been trying to go about my day. It's all really quite boring footage, actually. It's a lot of me doing a bit of work on my computer, coaching people, having a cup of coffee, and doing a bit of grocery shopping. So, uh, yeah. And I'm also going to do things like showing you swimming, but um, I hate swimming. Instead, I'm going to take it into the bath with me. I will get back to you after I have snipped off the little tail end of it, because, uh, yeah, that's been no good for me. I've been walking around today a bit weird. So, see you in a minute. So I've just changed it. If you have not got a hard stomach, then it might, it's graphic. It is pretty much exactly as it is in the instructional videos. Yeah, I've just cut the little nubbin off of it and that is infinitely more comfortable. I'm still quite aware of the fact that I am very conscious of it. I'm gonna have a bath now with my organi cup in so as to simulate swimming. Okay, I am submerged. That was an interesting experience. I sat submerged for a good 45 minutes because I was trying to avoid family responsibilities. Though I wasn't exactly exerting myself like I would be swimming, I had what I'd call a functional bath. You know the sort where you'd like shave your legs, you do a conditioning treatment in your hair, you do a face mask, so you're kind of up and you're scrubbing your body down, you're up and down moving. There was one or two things that happened. Number one, when I put it in, I hadn't let the vacuum do its 
plop thing. It must have done it when I was in there because suddenly there was like a whole lot of bubbles that came up from my undercarriage which was disconcerting and I think if I had been swimming I would be a bit worried about that but I would say that was a user fault not a product fault. I then noticed when I got out of the bath it felt very heavy. Took it out and yes it was filled entirely with pink bath water. All in all it was probably a bit of a fail for swimming or bathing at least until I'm more practiced at getting it up higher in my canal. So it is the next day and I have to confess I didn't sleep in it last night. I threw a tantrum. For some reason after going to the bath I could not get the thing back into position and I'd had enough with fiddling around with my foof actually if I'm being honest. Today I'm back in action. I'll be putting this to the test with me running around after my toddler all day. I hope it goes better than what it did yesterday. Okay. Right. So, I am definitely feeling like it's a little bit spiky, but I can feel it still. I can't get it high enough, so I'm a bit like, I don't know. I better go run after him so I can explore bit like my what? running. A bit like just, what? I just feel like it, I couldn't, like, I can feel it. I can feel that. So, I'd go run after him, hadn't I? Yeah, so, I would. He does belong to I'm us. I'm not confident. I don't think I'm going to run. I just did two strides and I already think no. Do it lengthwise. Okay. Yesterday was the end of my period and so brought with it the end of this experiment. Mama, mama. Stop! <laughs> I just want to <laughs> stop! Would you like to sing everyone a song and then we can get on with this? Come on then. <laughs> right, shush now. I really wanted to like this product. So I like the fact that it's environmentally conscious. I like the fact that it actually did its job. It had no leakages or anything like that. It was very, very easy to clean, maintain. I like the fact that you can use the same product for years and not have to buy anymore. So I do not want to poo-poo this. I think the biggest thing that I thought was that the size of the cup was really quite large. And I'm not sure if you can see, but the rim of it is really quite thick. It's also quite rigid, so I don't think it's the product. I think it's just more the shape and size wasn't a good fit for me. But I also remember the first time I ever wore a tampon, it did take me two or three cycles to get used to it. And then we all have that favorite period product that we use, don't we? So I kind of think this is how using a menstrual cup will go for me. I'm gonna have to experiment with a few different brands until I find the one that's the best fitted for me. I am gonna use the Organic Cup for one more cycle next month, and I'm going to see if I can get used to it. For me, the biggest problem was I just couldn't get it up high enough. If I got it up high enough, it wouldn't create a vacuum. Would I recommend this product? I'm not going to say no. I am going to give it a resounding... Hmm. Banana! I am determined that I will find a period cup that will fit me. Am I pleased with my experience of using a period cup for the first time? And I would say it went about as well as I thought it was going to it went slightly well. That's all I can really talk about when it comes to my menstrual cup. My cup never runneth over. Hmm. If you like this sort of video, give me a thumbs up so I know you like this kind of content. And also, if you leave me a comment, hashtag banana, if you made it to the end of this video. And also, if you would like to hit that subscribe button, then you will never miss a video with me ever again. So your life will therefore be complete in some way, I don't know. Until next time, we will see you later. Do you want to now say goodbye to everyone? Rock. Rocco. And now's your chance. Do you want to say goodbye? No, no. Now he has got nothing to say. I'll see you next week. Take care.